I mean, even hitting the light that you did, it's still kind of like yeah. reverberates a little bit in your head. And you're like, oh, shit. Right, because of where I'm striking. Because of where I'm striking on the neck, it's right where the neck and the... Is that the vagal nerve? No, the vagus nerve is more in the front. Okay. This is just causing that shock wave to the brain. Okay, yeah, and it does a good job. Right, because the base of the skull here and where the um, brain connects there, that part of the brain is known as what used to be called the lizard part of the brain. Mm -hmm. That is the most rudimentary part of the brain. It controls all of the things that you don't have to think about. Breathing. Breathing, yeah, your digestive system, those type things. And that's why they call it the lizard part of the brain because it's in mammals or in reptiles, it was the first part of the brain in evolution mm -hmm. to develop. Gotcha. Just to cover what the body does without thinking, without emotion, without speech. It's just those most rudimentary parts that keeps the living organism going. Mm -hmm. So that's what you're trying to attack with that iron palm is right there at the neck. The neck you could probably do some damage to the neck but the I've seen the human spine. The human spine is pretty meaty. When I worked in a, the funeral home mm -hmm. I, I got to see inside the cadavers and yeah it's, it's pretty meaty. So to think that you're going to try to break the spine, no, no. What you want to do is you want to hit the spine close enough to the brain to actually cause damage to the brain. That's what we're trying to do with iron palm when we're striking to the neck and head. Gotcha. Okay. We're not even when we're like striking hard to the skull and stuff. Mm -hmm. We're not trying to break the skull. You see a lot of these guys that they practice breaking <clears throat> coconuts with their palms and stuff. Totally irrelevant to iron palm because. You're not attacking the cranium or the skull. You're attacking what's inside of it. Shake That's it what you want to shake it around. You want to make a slushy out of the person's brain. Gotcha. That's what iron palm strikes to the head do. Now you're not trying to break the bones or break the neck. You're trying to damage internal the concussive. vital with concussive power. Now you do have to be careful with this type of strike. Because this is the concept behind uh, what we call in English the delayed death touch. This happened to my father. He was at work and um, he got hit in the head. He did not realize that a subdural hematoma was forming between his skull and his brain. He went on vacation, came back a few days later, had to be hospitalized had to have a hole drilled into his head to release the blood and the rest of his life he had no sense of taste because that was the part of the brain that was damaged. So this is where one of the ideas of the delayed death touch in Mantis or in Kung Fu in general comes from. Medical fact.